Russian Su-57 lost the aerial battle with F-22 and F-35 they're just invincible. The US will be the first to say a new word in military aviation, and Russia is well aware of this. In the near future, the US Air Force will reach a fundamentally new level, which will give them undeniable advantages over Russian and Chinese pilots. Already, F-22 and F-35 fighters are technologically superior to Russian Su-35S and Chinese flanker variants. As for the Su-57 and J-20, it is too early to talk about them. Since these machines are not yet ready. A real revolution in military aviation, according to the authors of an article in the National Interest, will be a group of drones that will be subordinate to the pilots. While these devices are in testing and periodically fall. But this is inevitable in flight tests of experimental equipment. The F-35 will be equipped with artificial intelligence and, based on the algorithms, the computer will take control of an army of drones. The keyword is autonomous. An UAV does not have to be constantly monitored from the ground. It will be an independent combat unit. As an expert in the field of combat aviation Gregory Zacharias told in an interview with Scout Warrior, a drone can perform, for example, the role of a truck with weapons. When the F-35 runs out of rockets, it will simply take them from the UAV. Similarly, the problem with refueling can be solved. The F-35 Autonomic Logistics Information System Ali's, computer system already implies a limited use of artificial intelligence. The computer provides estimates, systematizes information and even makes decisions. At the moment, the human brain is much more efficient than artificial intelligence, but gradually the computer will be able to perform relatively simple tasks. Already, U.S. drones have taken on the role of air executioners and are killing terrorists and politicians who are disliked by Washington. It is enough to recall the liquidation of Iranian General Soleimani, because of which the war almost began. The UAV's work largely depends on the capabilities of the satellite constellation. According to C4ISRnet, until 2026 the United States plans to launch 1,000 satellites, unfortunately, Russia cannot boast of a powerful satellite constellation. Moreover, from time to time, the spacecraft depart from orbit or fall to Earth. According to some media reports, Russia leases a broadband channel for managing key assets. And domestic drones have never flown outside the direct radio communication zone. The flight of the Hunter together with the Su-57 looks effective, but when will it all work for real? It's not clear yet. The Russians are now developing new air dominance aircraft with a long-range strike capability, the Su-35 and the Pak FA, frequently called the Pak T-50, which will pose a significant threat to NATO Europe. The US F-35, the only fifth-generation aircraft in production today, is critical to countering these threats. The F-35 has recently gotten bad publicity over its dogfighting capability despite the fact the last dogfight was in 1988. Since 1988, all air-to-air -air kills have been by missiles. A type of warfare in which the F-35 is designed to excel. The F-35 is a strike fighter with multirole capabilities, which makes sense because strike missions happen every day and stealth is necessary against advanced air defenses. 
While the Russian Su-35 and the Pak FA stealth fighter are both reportedly suffering from technical problems, the long-term threat is significant. Russia ordered the Su-35 in 2011 for delivery by 2015 but the announced IOC has slipped to 2018. The Pak FA has been scaled back to a single 12 aircraft squadron by 2017, because of reported cost and technical problems. Future production will depend on trial results. Russia constantly brags about the performance of both aircraft but its claims must be taken with caution because Russia seeks to maximize foreign sales of these aircraft. Setting aside Russian hype, the Su-35 is clearly an improved 4.5-generation fighter aircraft with very high maneuverability, thrust vectoring, and long-range strike potential. It has a very powerful passive phased array radar PESA, with a claimed probably exaggerated detection range of 350 to 400 km against fighter-sized targets. The Su-35 can reportedly carry 8,000 kg of weapons externally including a wide variety of bombs and missiles. The Russians say it carries advanced electronic countermeasures Russia boasts a reduced radar cross-section RCS, reportedly to 1 to 3 square meters. Its radar should give it an advantage over most fourth-generation fighters, but not necessarily over modern 4.5-generation fighters designed with elements of stealth technology and equipped with active electronically scanned AESA radars. In a rare moment of candor, Colonel General Alexander Zelen, then chief of the Russian Air Force, stated that the Su-35's avionics and integrated defense system are inferior to American fighters of the same type. It is not in the F-22 class, but the Su-35s will be deployed in Europe while there are no current plans to deploy the F-22 on a permanent basis because there are not enough of them. The Pak FA is touted by Russia as a fifth-generation fighter. General Zelen said that its mission is air dominance and to project force over large distances. It has a large bomb bay and will carry many types of ground attack weapons. Sputnik News, a government-owned news agency, recently reported that it will internally carry a stealth cruise missile. 